engineer here, and we're at a special lookout overlooking the old city of Jerusalem. You can see it behind me, and Mount Olives. Soak that in for a second. Here we are, high above Mount of Olives, an ancient and still current cemetery that is right across from the old city of Jerusalem. This is why they call it the Mount of Olives. These are all olive trees on your right here, lining the street as we go down the mountain. Here we are at the bottom of Mount Olives, and there's a very special monument here King David's son, Absalom built for himself. Since he didn't have any sons, he wanted to make sure he'd be remembered. And out of all the graves on the whole mountain, there's one of them that stands out more than all the rest. Here we are in the valley between Mount Olives and the Temple Mount. And behind me, is the tomb of Zechariah, just carved out of the mountain. Unbelievable. Right now we're going to go through a road carved directly out of this mountain. And it's incredible that these trucks can actually make this, especially with the gas prices in this country, it completely amazes me. story, I think I can, I think I can. We just did it. We are headed over there. Inside that mountain is a hidden castle of King Herod. And we made it. Herodian is right in front of me, but I wanted to show you behind me this is the Israeli town of Tekoa, with all those red roofs. And I've never been here, and I'm super excited to see this view from the top. And see what Herod had in mind when he built this amazing fortress. So down below there is the lower city of Herodium. And that's where the commoners used to stay. And in the center there is a huge pool that used to have a structure in the middle. If you can imagine that. All right, we're going up the mountain. Let's go. Imagine having to carry the luggage of the VIP guests all the way up here. Look at that. Living history carved out 
of a mountain. at the top of Herodium Castle. And I just learned that it was actually, this whole fortress and tower was built first, and then they built the mountain out of sand around it. So as opposed to making your sand castle, where you just build a lot of sand and you get your castle and then you dig out the inside, they actually built the center of this mountain and then build up sand around it so it looked like a volcano, and no one would know that the fortress was inside. And they would think it was a huge, strong structure and impossible to, pet to get inside. have the inside of the upper palace of Herodian. We're going to go inside and see the palace quarters of the king. Just imagine being all the way up here and looking down on everybody. There are major excavations going on here. As it was discovered, in 2007 and they've been going at it ever since. History in this country is everywhere. This is King Herod's room for massages. Nice, light, airy, open, 
and one of the oldest Roman structures that was found intact. Look at that precision architecture. One piece out of place and the whole structure would just collapse from the top down. Amazing. Here we have Herod's bedroom. Not bad. And this was eventually turned into a gathering place and a synagogue. And later it was turned into a church. And Herod set up pools to make sure there was fresh water all the way at the top of this mountain. We're going to go down and check this out. Still not there yet. Glad I brought my sneakers. And this was a giant cistern holding fresh water. was made by hand. Unbelievable. Kind of makes Elon Musk's boring tunnel not that big of a deal. <laughs>